Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. In today's lesson, we look at how to resolve this problem here. Some of you may have seen this before. Your Revit file seems to be displaying wireframe mode. Just to confirm, my view here right now is in shaded mode, not wireframe. But even so, you can see that certain elements are poking through one another, and it seems just like many things here are in wireframe mode. So let's see how we can solve this problem quickly. By the way, we do tutorials like this every single day. So if you are trying to master Revit, subscribe to this channel now. Okay, the first thing to do when you want to resolve this problem is to understand how it happens. Let me undo what I did. And you can see now that previously this model was perfectly fine. Everything is showing as they should be. What created that problem was that I linked into here a bad AutoCAD file. How bad, you may ask? Here's how. In AutoCAD now, I have this perfectly fine AutoCAD document. I can do a zoom to fit now. And as you can see, this is all I have in this AutoCAD file. If I now save this, go back to my Revit file, and then link this CAD file inside. That's a 3D context file there. The unit is meter, I know that from AutoCAD. Just link it in now by center to center. Let's choose open. And you can see it's landing in the wrong location, but nothing seems to be creating issues in my model. I can still see elements perfectly fine. Let's undo this. Going back to AutoCAD now, I can try to recreate that wireframe view issue. To do so, simply draw a circle now from 0, 0. And for the radius, I'll give it a random value of 1 meter. Now in here, if I do a zoom to fit, you can see it zooms way out because that 0, 0 point is very far away from the building. This is usually the case when you have a survey DWG with everything geolocated at the right coordinates. And if something is there at 0, 0, it will create this issue. So now I can save as this file as 3D context bad. Going back to Revit now, I can try to link in the bad file. So context bad, same unit, same placement method from before. Let's see what happens. Click open now. And suddenly enough, Revit now shows me that there's a problem here because this file has extends greater than 20 miles or about 33 kilometers. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So it says here that geometry in the file is still too big. That's the same thing we saw before. But now if I do a zoom to fit, you can see the same thing happens here. It zooms way out. This is because the file is somewhere far away from my Revit model. And by zooming to fit, I can confirm that's the case now. Let's go back to where our building is. I can now do zoom to previous. It seems fine still, but that's only because I have my lines turned off. Let's turn my lines back on. So show edges again, click OK. And there we go. The same problematic view from before. Everything seems to be in wireframe, even though the view is not in that mode. Now, to resolve this issue, some people will tell you that you need to delete this view and recreate it. But that won't work as long as the bad DWG is still there in your Revit model. I can prove it if I now delete this view now. Go into another view first. Right click on 3D, choose delete. And then recreate it using this little house button up there. At first, it won't show anything. I can try to turn off the AutoCAD file so I can zoom to fit to my building again. Here we go. So it looks fine at the moment because we have that AutoCAD file turned off. But if I have it back on, the issue returns straight away. So recreating a view doesn't solve this problem. You have only two choices. One is to do what I did, turn off that problematic AutoCAD file and get your views back. A second option, which is better, is to find out which CAD file is causing that problem. In this case, we know it's this one. Then you can go to Insert, Manage Links, select it here, and either replace it with a better version, something that doesn't have a random element at 0, 0, or you can just remove it altogether. 
to replaces, you can do reload from. Choose yes to reload. Click OK. And now, if I have AutoCAD files on, my building still looks OK. However, if you don't have a good copy of that file, then you will have to remove it for good. So select it here under Manage Links again and click on Remove. All right. And that should fix the problem with your view. No need to recreate it, only have to find the root of the problem and tackle that. Remember though, that DWG files in Revit can cause many other problems. If you want to prevent them all, see our other video in the description to know step by step how to clean and optimize your CAD files for Revit. Alright, if you enjoy this tutorial and want to have more like this every single day, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.